modeling of rcc building in etaps open the etaps application then click on file new model here a dialog box will appear which will define the settings for our etaps model if you have save default setting you can use the first option when you want to import units and Codal provision from a model file. You can use the second option. Here I am using the built in settings with SI unit and Indian codes. I will be using a typical square building plan. In the grid dimension plan, set the number of grid line in X and Y direction as 4. Then define the spacing for the grid. I have set it as 7 meter. In the story dimension, set the storage as 4 story with 3 meter height for the each story. Then click on OK. This will define our grid. Now save the model frequently and save different backups as there are chances of crashes in ETAPS. We can check the units of our model from the bottom right corner. Here I am using metric SI default. You can change the unit according to your ease of use. We can use US default for defining our grids and then we can switch back to metric system for assigning the loads. We now have to define the material like grade of concrete and steel that is going to be used for our building. Go to define material properties, add new material. I will be using M25 grade for the concrete and HOST5. 500 for the steel. After defining material, we have to add section. Go to section properties, frame section for column and beam section. Delete the default frame properties with delete multiple properties option. I will be using square section for column and rectangular section for beam. For column, I am defining 300 by 300 mm section. Go to modify rebar section to define the reinforcement. Set the design type as column, rebar material as HOST 500 that we have defined earlier, reinforcement configuration as rectangular because we are using the first section for the column and set reinforcement to be design. We can use reinforcement to be checked. Look whether the reinforcement that we have provided like 20 mm bar at a certain spacing can satisfy the load condition of the model or not. For initial run to determine reinforcement requirement, always use reinforcement to be designed. Here the bar size showing are in US unit. To change this, go to define section properties, reinforcing bar sizes. Delete the existing sizes and add SI unit common bar set. You can delete the bar size like 6mm, 14mm and others which are not available in the market or the sizes which you won't procure for the building projects. Define the longitudinal and corner bars as 20mm and 8mm for the confining bars. 
Keep the spacing of the confining bars as 150mm. Now for defining beam section, use the beam of width 230mm and depth 430mm. This 430mm depth will include the slab also because beam and slab are cast monolithically. Keep design type as beam and cover to bar as clear cover plus stirrup diameter plus half of the longitudinal bar here i am using the clear cover for beam as 25 mm the die of stirrup as 8 mm and the longitudinal bar as 16 mm for defining the slab section go to define section properties slab section delete the unnecessary slab section which we won't use in the model modify the slab one here we will be using the depth of slab as 125 mm which has been determined for preliminary design the dimensions of column and beam selected before are also determined from preliminary design select the model type as membrane if out of plane bending is to be neglected and select the model type as cell thin if you want to include the out of plane bending hence for our model the column size is defined as 300 mm by 300 mm beam size is defined as 230 mm by 430 mm and slab size is defined as 125 mm Beams in interv can be done in three ways. The first way is to select the beam from joint to joint. Second is to directly select individual joint segments between two joints. And the easiest method to draw beam is window selection of joint segments. Be careful of property assignment when modeling frame sections. Here I mistakenly assigned column section to beam element. To reassign this beam section, select those element again, then click on assign frame section property and select the required beam property. Column assignment is also done in similar manner. You can either click individually on joints or window select all the joints by defining the required column frame section property. For modeling the slab, you can either select the four corners or pick a point in the boundary. The easiest method is again the window select method. Window select the model and define the desired slab property. Here I am using one 25mm slab for all the slabs and opening type slab property for staircase section.
for the flint level assign the joint as fixed joint go to assign joint restrain and select the one in which all the components of rotation and translation are restricted We can replicate the element from one floor to another. Here I am going to add a terrace and a staircase cover floor. For this, add two stories above our existing story. Then delete the unnecessary elements in those story. For staircase cover, remove the opening type slab property and add the slab section of 125mm that we have defined earlier. To view our model building with sectional fill, use set view option object fill. For extrusion, use extrude view. This is how you can model a RCC building in ETAPS.